Born on March 14, 1820, in Turin, Victor Emmanuel II was the first king of the United Italy. His reign lasted from 1861 until his death in 1878 and marked a turning point in Italian history. He was a beloved figure who managed to unite the various Italian states into a single nation and became known as the father of Italian unity. Victor Emmanuel II was born into the royal family of the House of Savoy. His father was Charles Albert, the King of Sardinia, and his mother was Maria Theresa of Austria. From a young age, he was trained for a career in the military and showed an early talent for leadership. At the age of 17, Victor Emmanuel II fought in the First Italian War of Independence against the Austrian Empire. He distinguished himself in battle and was promoted to the rank of captain. However, the war ended in defeat for Italy, and Victor Emmanuel II was forced to flee to France. After several years in exile, Victor Emmanuel II returned to Italy and became involved in politics. In 1848, he supported his father's decision to grant a constitution to Sardinia, which made him popular among the people. However, the constitution was short-lived and Charles Albert was forced to abdicate. Victor Emmanuel II then became the king of Sardinia and he focused on modernizing the country and building a strong army. He also began working towards the unification of Italy, which he saw as his life's mission. Victor Emmanuel II's greatest achievement was the unification of Italy. At the time, Italy was divided into several independent states, each with its own ruler. Victor Emmanuel II was determined to unite these states into a single nation and to make himself its king. He began by forming alliances with other Italian states and with foreign powers such as France and Britain. He also led his army in a series of wars against Austria, which controlled much of northern Italy. In 1860, the Kingdom of Sardinia annexed the Kingdom of the Two Sicilies, which was the largest and wealthiest of the southern Italian states. This was a major step towards unification, and it made Victor Emmanuel II the ruler of a much larger and more powerful kingdom. The final step towards unification came in 1861, when the Kingdom of Italy was declared, with Victor Emmanuel II as its king. The new kingdom included most of Italy, with the exception of Rome and Venice, which were still controlled by foreign powers. Victor Emmanuel II's reign as King of Italy was marked by many successes, but it was also a time of great challenges. He faced opposition from conservatives who wanted to maintain the power of the old aristocracy and from radicals who wanted to push for more social and political reforms. Despite these challenges, Victor Emmanuel II remained popular with the Italian people. He was seen as a symbol of Italian unity and a defender of the rights and freedoms of the Italian people. Victor Emmanuel II died on January 9, 1878, in Rome. His legacy as the father of Italian unity lives on to this day. He is remembered as a great statesman who worked tirelessly to unite Italy and to create a strong and prosperous nation. His contributions to Italian history and his unwavering commitment to the cause of Italian unity make him a figure of great importance and respect.